Now, UFOs are the talk of the town in the U.S. capital, and lawmakers are getting ready for a long-awaited report on the unexplained sightings. More than 120 incidents over the past two decades have been analysed. The sceptics and enthusiasts of what's now called Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAPs, might not get the answers they are looking for. Nick Harper reports from Washington. The U.S. military pilots filming the footage don't know what they are, and so far, neither does anyone else. <laughs> UFOs, or UAPs, is a topic dismissed by scientists, but embraced by ufologists. In recent weeks, it's come up repeatedly at the Pentagon, where the spokesman has fielded questions with a barely concealed smirk. Sorry, the UAP report? UFO report? The government task force has reviewed dozens of videos filmed by U.S. Navy pilots. While enthusiasts hope for answers, some of them also believe the inquiry is long overdue. People laugh and act like it's silly for the government to look into these unknown objects flying over sensitive airspace. It seems like completely negligent and ridiculous not to look into those. The education needs to happen with the public and the media that UFOs does not equal aliens. Um, it equals a true mystery, though. Skeptics suggest the videos can be explained as problems with the camera equipment or light and weather phenomena. And as such, they're not expecting a bombshell report. It's not going to amount to anything, I'm almost certain. And we just emphasize, use our brains that we were given and our critical thinking abilities, think through these things. Is it really logical that these little blips of things that people, uh, a couple of videos, three or four videos over a 17-year period amount to anything like extraterrestrials? No. The report was sparked by the $2.3 trillion COVID-19 relief package Donald Trump signed in December. The bill contained a stipulation that the government must release what it knows about UAPs by the end of June 2021. The report must also address any potential national security threats and whether countries like China or Russia are behind the unexplained aerial activity. But as people often conflate the idea of unidentified objects with extraterrestrials, past administrations have been wary of worrying the public. They don't want to stimulate wild imagination about aliens, nor do they want to uh, panic the government to think, uh, panic the public to think that uh, our government has let them down and an enemy uh, has uh, advanced superior technology and, and systems to threaten us. If other countries possess that experimental technology, the US government may not want to openly acknowledge it. But despite the military confirming the videos are legitimate, the report's conclusions may be much less exciting than the hype surrounding it. If the truth is out there, it's unlikely to be uncovered in this report. Officials have been telling US media that the review has found no conclusive proof of alien activity or technology in any of the flying objects. But then again, the report has also not conclusively ruled it out. There may be no easy explanations for the incidents, but officials hope the report will encourage more pilots to come forward removing the stigma of reporting such sightings and giving a clearer idea of what can be seen, if not perhaps understood, in America's skies. Nick Harper, CNA, Washington.